Hello and welcome to the speed paint compilation where you'll be seeing four drawings of my characters Fox and Bunny. Bunny was actually designed kind of by accident when I was doing the three emojis as character challenge. I ended up really liking the design and decided to make her one of my OCs and then I started creating a story around her and later came Fox. So their story or their lore is actually pretty bad and not really finished, but they're supposed to be these kind of assassins that wear animal masks to hide their identity. And in this world that they live in, everybody wears big furly dresses. I am a huge fan of big Lolita dresses and femininity mixed with knives and weapons. So the story is mostly just an afterthought or an excuse for me to draw a lot of pretty dresses and girls with knives. The sketch process in these drawings takes me the most time, probably of almost all of my other drawings, because there are a lot of elaborate fancy dresses in this and autonomy, you know, like this one, where the fox girl is holding knives and like lifting up her skirt to show more knives. So there's a lot of small details and very intricate uh, line art, which I'm not really used to. I really want to make more of these characters because I really like the aesthetics. So I'm thinking about maybe making a bear and a deer in the future and maybe making this into assassin school for girls or something. I don't know. Sounds a little bit dumb, but I think it's fun. Here I'm just adding in the final details of the line art before I can start on the coloring. Here I start testing out some colors before I start the coloring process. I start with a lighter palette, but then I decide to make it a bit darker to fit her more as a person. Fox is the more calm of the two. She's very focused, calculated and smart. She's the one who sort of takes the lead and is the one who organizes everything. So it makes more sense for her to have a bit of a darker, more calm color palette. Although I do like to give her pastel outfits, I tend to keep them more blues and purples, while Bunny gets more pinks. Bunny is a lot more spontaneous and crazy and out of control, and Fox has to sort of take control a lot of the time and like put her in a place. This is something that you can't really see when they have their masks on, because they can't show emotions through the mask. Here I'm drawing in the eyes and deciding which direction she's supposed to be looking in. Then I finish them up and color in a purple square in the background, and then I'm pretty much done. Here is the final result. I think she is super cute and I love her very much. On to the next drawing. The next drawing is of both Fox and Bunny, so you get to see a little bit more of their dynamic. Here I wanted to draw Fox and Bunny in like a really deep and dramatic hug, and I also wanted to take off Fox's mask so you could see her hair and the back of her head, which I decided to change later. As you can see here, here I start drawing in her Fox mask. I just wasn't really ready to reveal her face or design her face without the mask, and I still have not drawn her without the mask. But I have drawn Bunny without it, and that is actually in the next drawing after this one. Here I'm finally finishing up the sketch and starting on the line art. The line art in this drawing is not as nice and delicate as the other one, and that is because I wasn't really feeling it that day and I wasn't really liking the drawing at this point, which is kind of sad because today I kind of like it. The only really small detail that I put into this drawing is the ruffles around Fox's shoulders. I think these are really cute and I'm really happy that I added these in. Then I also wanted Fox's dress to look kind of tattered, like she had been in battle or something, to add a little bit more drama into the drawing. From the very beginning of this drawing, I have had a vision. I wanted to make very dramatic lighting, like somebody's opening a door and seeing the scene or something like that, and it is dark in the room and the light is like hitting their faces. So I decided to first sketch or like color in the outfits like I normally would and then later put in 
that dramatic lighting. Here I decided to add some more drama by making Bunny look directly at you and then adding a lot of blood and some dirt onto uh, both Bunny and Box. And here I'm adding that dramatic lighting from the door. But then I decide to not make it look like somebody's looking at them from a door and just make it extra dramatic. So this is the final result. And I think it looks alright, but it's not my best work. Here's a close-up of them. This next drawing was a traditional style contest that I did for Just Sketch Me, which was a web app where you can sort of use these 3D models to make poses. So I decided to make Bunny without her mask on. This was a pretty easy drawing since I already had the reference, except that I had some issues with drawing the hand and the feet, which you will see later. Here I end up just trying to trace the legs, which I do change later to make them look more like my style. And then I add the bunny mask right next to her hand and draw in her outfit. In the beginning, I decide to try to give her that Lolita fashion with like this very big kind of skirt, but it wasn't really working out very well. And it's really hard to make all these ruffles and all this detail while she's sitting down. So in the end, I just ended up giving her a very simple, thin skirt. Not gonna lie, I also struggled a lot with her top. It was always turning out a little bit too elegant for her, and she is a very messy character. So I end up trying to reflect that a little bit more by giving a more youthful outfit. Here I decided to give her a little knife on the leg, just for a little bit more detail and also to fit a little bit more with that assassin Lolita style. Here I'm drawing Bunny's face for the very first time, and I didn't really have a very clear idea of what I wanted to do with her, I just knew that I wanted her to have short eyebrows and that she was supposed to look youthful yet mischievous at the same time. At first I thought I would give her bunny teeth because she is a bunny, but in the end I thought Fangs will look a lot better on her, because she's more of a wolf in her personality than a rabbit. I also thought a more of a homemade haircut would fit her a lot better, and then I also gave her a knife in her hand for more of those uh, assassin vibes. Here I start on the line art, which is my least favorite part of the process, but it is very pretty and I really like when it's done. I just don't like making it. Before I start coloring in her clothes, I make a few tests, and in the end I decided on the blue purpley pink theme because I felt like it fit her youthful personality the best. I start by putting in all the colors before I start shading, and then I decide to start by shading the face, which is my favorite part. I also decide to give her some dark circles under her eyes to make her look a little bit more crazy, and I also added some piercings because I thought that would fit her personality very well. Since she wears a white bunny mask, I decided to make her hair white as well, and then she got some pink eyes, so she would look more like an albino bunny. Here I'm adding in some cute little details just to make the drawing look a little bit more finished, and mostly just plants and cute little decor.
when I had colored in the character, I decided to make her sit on something. And the only thing I could come up with that would fit was a brick wall, but a pink brick wall. So that's what I did. When I finished the wall, I thought I might as well add some other details. So I made a nice little sky with pink clouds, some trees and a gate. In the end, I'm not really sure if I like all the extra details, but here is the final drawing. I think she is really cute. I also think her face fits her very well. The last drawing is another drawing of Fox and kind of a funny as well, but not really. The idea behind this one was that Fox would be holding a platter, she would be like a 50s diner sort of thing, and she would be holding a platter with Bunny's head on it. In the beginning of this drawing I thought that I would actually make a bear to make a new character in the series, but in the end I thought a fox would look better, and I already know fox and like to draw her, so I decided to just go with her. And here I add in Bunny's face. I think she turned out pretty cute. So far, I think this drawing has the least complicated sketch and least complicated drawing. It doesn't have as many details and it's not really Lolita anymore. It's more of a 50s diner thing. So it was a lot easier to make and took me a lot less time. After finishing the line art, I started on the coloring process. Here I didn't really have to test out all that many colors because I already had a very clear vision and the idea was a lot more simple than my other ones. I wasn't really sure what direction I should go with uh, with the head, if I should make like pink blood, but in the end I decided that I should maybe not do that, because it was a little weird, and also it's a mask, so it didn't really make any sense. And then in the background I made a cute little fox and bunny pattern. Here is the final results, I think she's really cute. And here's a close-up of how it would look like if it had the blood. I have also made one more drawing of fox and bunny, and that is this one right here. I do not have it in the video because I've lost the footage on my old iPad. I think this one is definitely my favorite one, so I'm really sad to not be able to show it. And that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.